FIFA Champions Cup. Good evening and welcome. We have the whole of Rangers Dortmund coming up live in a couple of moments. With me here in the studio, two men who've made it in Europe. Former Manchester United, AC Milan and Scotland striker Joe Jordan, now managing Bristol City. And a man who conquered Europe with Aberdeen, Motherwell manager Alec McLeish. Joe, Rangers must win. Can they do it? Well, I don't think we need to emphasise it. Uh, the fact that both teams are going into tonight's game, no points. And to come out of tonight's game with no points... I think that would be a big, big uh, stumbling ball for the future in the league. The team, and we talk about Rangers, they've got to win it tonight. They must win it. Alec, the good news is from Ibrox, Goff is in, he plays from the start. Now that's good. That's the best possible news for the, the Rangers fans and in fact the Rangers team because he's such a huge influence on the side and his form has probably been as good as I've ever seen it at the start of this season. Yeah, and McCall's in as well. Again, good news. Yeah, but it's another vital cog in the, in the wheel and... McCall's proved over the years that he's been a good player for Rangers. He gets about people, he hustles them. And if you remember back to the last good run Rangers had in the Champions League, McCall was a very vital performer for them. Yes, indeed. But Joe, the Germans, no doubt, will be hungry. Yes, they're hungry. But as Alex has mentioned about uh, Richard Goff, it's not just the fact that the way that he's playing, I think he's been playing extremely well. I think he's such a, an inspirational figure, and he has been for so many years. I think that is a boost for the dressing room and also for the, the supporter in the, in the stadium. Yes, indeed. OK, well, we'll take a short break now, but join us again in a couple of minutes for Rangers against Borussia Dortmund in the UEFA Champions League, live and exclusive from Ibrox. <laughs> Welcome back. The waiting is over. Rangers' vital Champions League match against Borussia Dortmund. Live now from Ibrox, match commentator Jerry McNee. Well, the importance of tonight's match to both sides after the opening game defeats to Steyr Bucharest and Juventus is obvious. Although there will still be 12 points up for grabs following tonight's matches, defeat or even a draw will leave these clubs with a lot to do. Well, alongside me is Rangers player Trevor Stephen. Quite an atmosphere. Yeah, it's just taken off the last five minutes or so. They seem to be getting uh, the bit between the teeth now, the crowd, and uh, realising what a big game it is in front of them tonight. It's not a full house here tonight, but uh, plenty of vocal support. Well, there's the Rangers lineup, and uh, Rangers make two changes from the team which lost in Bucharest. Out are uh, suspended Alan McLaren, and Ian Durant is on the bench. In comes Stuart McCall after injury, and uh, Gordon Jury. He starts the game. Well, an interesting lineup, uh, Trevor, and uh, you've got to imagine that uh, you know Stuart McCall will sit in there in the midfield and do the job that uh, was uh, so much needing done in Bucharest. That's right. We need somebody in the middle of the midfield there uh, to put, a, put his foot on it um, and slow the game down for us. And uh, they've got the, the team up there as a 4-4-2, and I don't think we're going to play that way tonight. We're going to we're going to maintain the three centre halves bringing Stephen right into, uh, into the middle to act as the right centre-half with uh, Richard Goff and Gordon Petridge. Well, uh, Dortmund also have two changes after defeat by Juventus. And they brought in uh, Martin Cray at number three and the teenage striker Lars Ricken at number nine. He's a young player, will have to be watched, teenage player. But uh, side packed with experience, uh, Jürgen Kohler, number two, one of the great defenders in European football. Julio Cesar, the Brazilian and Matthias Sama, former GDR player, another outstanding performer. And Andreas Muller, he's a player who packs a tremendous shot with both feet. So there's the lineup. Yeah, he's obviously going to be one of the dangers. I'm quite interested to see how uh, Ricken and, and Herlich play up front, because I've not seen much of them at all. But uh, from their recent games, we know that a team who, uh, who attack very well, maybe not so good in defence, but they've certainly got plenty of options going forward. And uh, I suppose their goals can come from anywhere on the field. So we're having a look at the uh, substitutes. And you saw just a moment ago there John Brown, who's now a player coach here on the bench for Rangers tonight, which uh, shows their injury problems. And there's the match referee, yep, Erlenberg from Holland, 45 years of age, a banker to profession. He speaks English and German, as well as French and Spanish, in addition to his native language. So. You'll be able to keep uh, monitoring things tonight. And a big night for Ryan Laudrup. He's uh, been criticised for not turning it on in European ties for Rangers. And uh, so too has Paul Gascoigne. Well, uh, 
Peter Loudrop was quoted the other day saying the team must play well before the individuals can perform but uh, there's no doubt about it uh, he and Gascoigne cost a lot of money they were brought here to play in this kind of game and the crowd expects a big noisy crowd here at Highbrook Stadium and we're joined again tonight by our friends from all across Ulster and beyond you're all very welcome to Highbrook Stadium for this UEFA Champions League match So Rangers have played German clubs on 17 previous occasions. They've won eight ties in aggregate, they've lost eight ties in aggregate, and they also lost the Cup Winners' Cup final to Bayern Munich in 1967. But a long history of playing against German clubs. So we're underway, it's an early touch for Gascoigne, through to Laudrup. There should be a determination about Rangers tonight. They were disappointing last season against Athens in the two games, disappointing against the Norfices, the Cypriot side, in the two games this season in the qualifying tie, and uh, highly disappointing in Bucharest. So they know they owe it to their supporters, who have paid a lot of money for the seats here tonight. They really do owe them a performance, and they owe their manager a performance. There's a touch for Clellan to Petric. So as uh, Trevor pointed out, uh, Goff, Petric and Wright. Uh, the three back players, McCall is anchored in there, you can see him, number five. And this is uh, Charlie Miller. And uh, Borussia Dortmund are a team who like to get forward at every opportunity and they will certainly test that Rangers defence tonight. They've been losing goals but uh, they've been scoring a lot as well. And there's a man who will want to get on the score sheet tonight, Ali McCoist. He's never scored in the Champions League, and that's something that uh, certainly rankles with him. But he does have 12 European goals. Uh, it's a Rangers record he shares with Ralph Brand, and he's desperate to land goal number 13. Well, Paul bricks away from right. It's picked up by Muller. This is Cray. Muller again. And the referee awarding the free kick against Rangers, the challenge there on Lars Ricken. And Stuart McCall making his presence felt. And uh, Gordon Petric also going in there. So it's going to be a fair distance out. forward breaking away from his defensive role and the decision goes Dortmund's way so it's uh, Stefan Frant a long throw from him headed away by Petric Quickly closed down and well challenged. It's Muller. Here comes Gascoigne, does well. That's McCoist. Jury. McCoist is running ahead of him. He needs some support here. Gets it now from Loudrup. Cesar slip again by Stephen Wright he's having trouble with his footing early on that's Laudrup uh, both teams really going at one another and this time Rangers have the free kick it's uh, Gascoigne he wins that one Charlie Miller Seems to be a bit of a push on Alec Cleland there, but the uh, referee allows play to go on. And that's Rangers' ball. Still a bit uh, it's tentative in the early stages here, Jerry, but uh, we started off playing with a bit of keep possession stuff, which was nice to see. It's more than we've done in previous games, so we need more of that. And this is Charlie Miller providing it. Miller again getting a touch. Gordon Jury challenges, but that's a free kick against them. A good play by Charlie Miller. 
on the left hand side of the field getting the ball into the middle showing persistence we're playing with, um, with Gordon Jury out there on the right hand side but you'll obviously have the license to get forward unless he's pushed back by one of their players on the left hand side but uh, we'll need Gordon to get in and support um, Ali McCoyce on that right hand side as much as he possibly can there's going to be a, a lot of running involved for them tonight Headed away by Goff picked up by McCall this is Miller leaves it to Loudrup who's being chased out by Fland Gascoigne Miller McClellan's raced ahead of him but he plays it infield so five minutes gone here at Ibrook Stadium still no scoring it's McCall pushing forward the offside flag is up though on the far side Alec Cleland was breaking forward the former Dundee United player Sammer headed away by Petrich getting in there just ahead of Hurley now it's Cleland Miller and McCoy's up there very much on his own but uh, Rangers trying to push players forward in support this is Hurley there by Reuter on by Zot, now it's Muller. This is Wickham, well challenged up. That was a great tackle there by Stephen Wright, but I think we saw there just in that bit of a movement there from the German side, you know how quick they do break and get themselves into good uh, offensive positions. So we've got to be careful not to give the ball away in the midfield area. So far we haven't really done that, but you know we must be careful over the over the piece of the game. It's loud up rounds with him all the way so it's Loudrup trying to find that opening and he gets the corner kick well, Stefan Frond slid into the challenge I think the ball just came off the toe of his boot but, uh, Loudrup looking fired up for the occasion and he's leaving the corner kick to Gascoigne and there's Goff moving forward being watched by Julio Cesar Dortmund of uh, fair support with them just uh, behind Gascoigne who delivers the cross there's Jury going in for that one it's Loudrup Gascoigne going to get through to Cleland he's blocked though by Samar and the offside flag is up as uh, Stephen Wright floats that one in Paul Gascoigne playing his uh, fourth European tie for Rangers tonight. This is Samar. Right. Right up plays it through. Then comes Petric. Side showing a willingness to get on with things. Free kicks and uh, throw ins been taken quickly. And that one from Samar. He's going well wide of target. Well, 57 caps he has uh, for Germany, some with the GDR in the earlier days. So Archie Knox just in front of the Ranger substitutes and Walter Smith. Suspect is still in the main stand. So Walter Smith's first ever signing, and they got him. Going forward, Jury leaps well. This is Cesar. It's Goff. Jury. Loudrup in his free roll again, this time he's up on the right hand side but uh, surrounded by Dortmund players it's cut out by Cesar Sammer this is Jürgen Koller 
This is Aragon. Dortmund holding possession here. Through for Rickon. He's challenged by Petric. Still Dortmund have it. That was Muller playing it through to Samar, who's pushing forward again. Germans enjoying possession. So Rauta playing it infield and going for the return. Clowen goes with him. It's in a decent cross up. And it's uh, Jury almost caught. A touch by Goff. It's Jury again. This is Gascoigne. Chance on for Rangers now to break. Charlie Miller, Loudrup stays left. Jury's in the middle. McCoy's arriving the far side of the box. Still it's Loudrup. And that goes behind for the goal kick. Uh, the ball deflected off the Danish player as he tried to deliver the cross. So 10 minutes played here at Ibrook Stadium. Still no scoring. So the game's uh, pretty well open, really. And both sides are uh, getting the opportunity to go at each other. A bit unfortunate there. I thought Brian would have um, had the beating of there. Just didn't quite get that yard on him to get the ball in. But again, both sides seem to be able to break on each other quite easily. And uh, that obviously leads to goals. And I think we're going to see some tonight. Well, Stefan Rauter, uh, who played alongside uh, Brian Loudrup at Bayern Munich, uh, told Jim White in an interview in Dortmund recently that uh, Loudrup won his game. It's as good as Maradona, well, that's <laughs> certainly something to live up to. But uh, Loudrup uh, can turn it on tonight. Fans will be well pleased. That's the sort of position, though, that Brian Loudrup uh, excels at, you know, when he gets that ball wide and he's, and he's um, running at the fullback. I mean, you put money on him getting past uh, the majority of defenders. There's a long ball through now, looking for Charlie Miller, but uh, Cesar was there. This is right up. It's Cray. We're allowing them to have the ball, Jerry, you know, without... Um, we're, we're conserving energy, really, you know, to, to be quite honest at the moment. We're not threatening the ball unless it's there to be threatened. And uh, we're quite happy for them to have uh, possession in these areas of the park, so uh, you know, we've got to be patient. I think that's one of the important things about European football. Well, Cleland did well to nip in there, just ahead of Michael Zork. It's out for the throw to Dortmund. Well, Dortmund lost the first two meetings with Scottish clubs, uh, both times to Rangers in 1966 and 82. But since then, they've beaten Celtic twice in 1987 and 92, and they defeated uh, Motherwell last year. So they've had the upper hand in the recent exchanges. And the policy has been to spend a lot of money these past uh, three years or so. And they came second in the championship in 1992 and embarked on a policy of going out and buying the very best. And they brought a number of players back from Italian football. Here come Rangers now, it's McCall. Got it by Reuter. This is Cesar under pressure from McCall. He does well though. That's Gascoigne coming across to send the ball out of play. And the referee is having a word with uh, Cleland as uh, Gascoigne moves away. And uh, in fact, he's awarded a free kick against the Rangers fullback. Just a word of warning for him. There wasn't enough a lot in it. Plays it across to Julio Cesar. One word now for Kelly to chase, but too much for him. The Rangers have the throw. Well, you just wonder about uh, the fitness tonight of the likes of Richard Goff and uh, Stuart McCall, who have been battling against injury. Uh, I think particularly for Stuart McCall tonight, it's a, it's a really big game. He's, um, he's not played a competitive game now for something like three or four weeks, and uh, this is a, an almighty game for him to come to come back and play in. Um, well, obviously the manager has a lot of confidence in him to do the job tonight. He also have one eye on the fact that he might not be able to make the 90 minutes, and uh, we've got Ian Ferguson there on the bench who can obviously replace Stuart if there comes a time when he's feeling a bit tired in the game. Certainly in an area of the field where there's no hiding place. 
So that's played by Cesar. Reuter, put out by Charlie Miller. Goff Cleland, and that's uh, Dortmund's ball. Switch a player to three. And the jams knock it about. This is Kohler to right up. It's cut out by Goff. So 15 minutes gone. And there's still no scoring here at Dybrook Stadium in this UEFA Champions League match. This is Laudrup. And uh, completely taken out of the play by Matthias Sama. No word of warning for the German player. He strolled away from that incident. We just have the free kick. And uh, Richard Goff has moved to the edge of the area. It's left to Gascoigne. Off signalling for it, uh, Gordon Jury's tucked in just behind him. So uh, Goff climbing now, gets the touch, but uh, free kick is awarded against the Ranger skipper. Richard Goff into his ninth season now with Rangers, with seven consecutive Premier League medals, 61 Scotland caps, and uh, along with Andy Gorham, uh, ever present in the Rangers side this season, tonight his tenth consecutive appearance. by Petric. Jury. Gascoigne. Picks return from Goff. That's Cleland. McCoy's runs ahead of him. And then McCoy's pulled out of the run. The Rangers have made a far better start uh, than they made in the previous match and uh, the holding possession when it matters. So it's a, obviously a distinct uh, difference between this game and, and the last. We've been the home team on this occasion Jerry, and uh, it's up to us to make the running. And that was Cleland making the running and he's won the throw in. He did well initially to keep that ball in play. Nice little turn by Laudrup and again he's surrounded. Back to Petric. Well, he's a player who does pack a powerful shot. Just a trifle ambitious there, but uh, why not have a pot at goal? The Gordon's not short on confidence, and, and if he gets the opportunity, he will uh, he will let fly. We have seen him in the past, you know, hit shots from that uh, sort of range and hit the target. So uh, it's well worth the try. Free kick against uh, Gascoigne for his challenge on uh, Michael Zock, the Dortmund captain. That's Andreas Muller. This is Freund. Reuter goes on the outside. And he gets a good quality cross. That's a superb goal. Herlich opens the scoring with 18 minutes gone. Reuter provided the cross and Herlich rose without much effort and picked his spot beyond Andy Gorham. That's a real blow for Rangers. Reuter with the cross. Look at the space he had. The right tried to close in on him. But Heiko Herlich, who cost £4.2 million at the summer, starts to pay back the transfer money. He scored 22 goals last season for Borussia Mönchengladbach, and you can see that. The threat he carries, but again, the Rangers defence must have a look at themselves. So Rangers nil, Borussia Dortmund one. The Rangers have just got to get themselves right back into this game as quickly as possible. And uh, the one good thing 
and about the Champions League is you don't have to worry about uh, conceding home goals as long as you can score more. The away goal rule doesn't count at this stage. But uh, really Rangers have it all to do now. Real test of character. It was uh, Petric going in on that one. And the referee signals the goal kick. So Gordon Petric, who cost uh, one and a half million pounds at the summer from Dundee United. Getting in there, but uh, there's another look at the goal. Uh, it really was a fantastic cross from Reiter, but he was allowed far too much room really to get that ball in. And uh, not only did he have the room, but uh, the centre forward Helic had the room as well in the middle of the goals. And uh, a player of his quality will not miss from there. It's the worst possible start uh, that we could have had, but uh, as you say, it's not all about um, uh, goals against here. It's, it's about actually winning games, you know, so we've just got to go ahead and try and get back into this game as soon as possible. So just over 20 minutes played at Ibrook Stadium. It's Rangers nil, Borussia Dortmund 1. Herlich the scorer. And there was uh, an indication or two before that uh, from Reuter. He got in a few crosses, but uh, this is Loudrup now. McCoyce is the only ranger in the middle. And they have the throw in just in the line with the penalty area. Goff's move well forward. It's Goff again! And Kloss makes an excellent save. Well, the Rangers skipper leading by example. Now, remember the night against uh, Leeds United here when uh, Gary McAllister scored early on. Goff practically went to centre forward until Rangers equalised. And he was right up there again for that throw in and brought out a good save from Stefan Kloss. So it's Gascoigne with the corner. Tamar getting it away. This is Cleland. Right into the hands of Stefan Kloss, the 24 year old Dortmund keeper. He's been a regular now for the last uh, three years or so. We need to try and make more of uh, the set pieces, more, well, better use of, the, of them than we've done so far. We've had two or three corners which we've not really threatened from, one or two free kicks as well. And uh, we need to try and pick up Richard Goff and uh, try and get him you know, getting efforts on goal. This is Jury. Very strongly challenged by Craig. playing the same sort of way as we did in the first 10 minutes and not become too impatient and uh, try and get uh, opportunities to arise in that manner. So we're now midway through the first half at Ibrook Stadium. Rangers are trailing by a goal to nil. This is McCall in possession. Trying to find Loudrup, he's strongly challenged there by front. Rangers have it again though, through Cleland. McCall challenged well there. Again it's off pushing forward. Allen just keeping that ball in play. Across to Petric, that's a risky one, and Rangers are in trouble here. That was Henley who intercepted, now it's Mola. And Rickens moving forward as well. This is Henley. And Rangers get it away. Petric made the initial challenge, and then Stephen Wright got it forward. This is Gascoigne. But, uh, Rangers put themselves in trouble there. Meanwhile, the offside flag is up against Ali McCoyst as he hit that shot on the turn and uh, he indicates to the referee he didn't hear the whistle but uh, Petric there making a solid challenge yeah it was an excellent recovery tackle there by Gordon and uh, it was so important that we didn't give another goal away there otherwise the, the game would have really been beyond us at 2-0 but he made good ground to get back bit of an error there from Alex uh, Cleland but um, we recovered the situation it's important as I was saying there before is not to get impatient and not to try things that uh, that we don't need to try at this stage of the game. It's not a desperate situation yet, and uh, there's plenty of time to uh, to build things and to get the goal to get us back into the game. This is Jury. It's easily cut out by Jürgen Kola. Now it's Sama. And Reuter goes in the run down the right-hand side. This is front. Reuter. 
Picked up by McCall. Through for Loudrop. Ty Reuter gets uh, back there to make a good challenge. And again, Loudrop's finding it very difficult to get space. Again, surrounded by opponents and uh, players willing to backtrack and make life difficult for him. And this has been the story of his European campaign so far. This is Goff, across to Jury. Well, uh, Herlich is receiving some treatment uh, just below us. He took a knock when uh, Petrich challenged him. This is Charlie Miller trying the shot. That's deflected. Off the crossbar, in comes Gascoigne. And it was Cesar initially who did just enough to get it away. Well, that certainly gets the crowd going. And it gives uh, fresh heart to Rangers. This is Loudrop. It's away to Petric. It's 25 minutes gone now. Rangers are trailing by a goal to nil. Herlich is still off the field as Rangers attack. Time um, a Kois pass for running away from Goff. It's played through to Muller. He's very much on his own here. He'll just wait for support, hold the ball up. Good crossfield pass towards Rauter. Herlich has come back on. This is Sama. Rauter. Point. McCall goes with him. It's behind for the corner kick. Stefan Point pushing forward and winning that one. And that's uh, Charlie Miller's effort a few moments ago. The goalkeeper was beaten, but uh, the crossbar saved him and he saved his teammates. And still the lead by a goal to nil here. It's Miller who fights the cross, it's headed away by Goff. It's right up. Through by Jury. Cleland. McCall. Jury again. And just stringing the passes together. Uh, Gascoigne was uh, getting involved off the ball there, which he doesn't have to do. Running over towards Herlich. But uh, still play continues. Here comes McCall. Not a bad effort from the Rangers midfielder. We do seem to be getting. Uh efforts on goal you know without really doing anything special you know, I don't think they're a good defensive team at all and they will give you opportunities it's just a case of one ending up in the back of the net which the one from Charlie uh, Miller there a few moments ago could have done had Lady Luck been on our side but uh, there's plenty of time yet well they're certainly not uh, defensive side Trevor as you know uh, since losing 3-1 uh, to Juventus a couple of weeks ago they've scored 13 goals in three games and uh, lost six in the process they really do have a goal and here they come again, it's that man Herlich who grabbed the opening goal. It's McCall who was having a shot at the other end just a few moments ago, clearing his lines. There's Reuter, this is Sama. There's Gascoigne, claims for handball. So it happened in the blind side of the referee and there's no reaction from the linesman. So a throw in to Dortmund. out goals but uh, no damage done on that occasion well he's had to break off from his uh, studies uh, as Lars Ricken to play in this game he already has a Bundesliga medal and uh, there's the manager Otmar Hitzfeldt who's a Swiss he managed uh, a few Swiss clubs before moving to German football and he's uh, been highly successful Drop battling away, doing well, finding Gascoigne. Low drop again, Cleland starts a run inside. But, uh, Sammer steps in, and he's slack with that pass. But, uh, Freund is there to get it away, only as far as Stuart McCall. McCall challenged 
challenge there by Herlich, who'd come back and has done some uh, decent work. But, uh, he's caught again by McCall there. So right up. It's right up by Rickon. And that's Muller out to Cray. Jury closes in on him. And that's a free kick against Gordon Jury. Which is quickly taken. And Martin Cray back to his feet and the referee tells him to get on with it and uh, says ah sends them all well it still hasn't gone out of play it has now and out for the throwing in the far side but you see Jury coming in here and uh, clattering the defender says ah getting that one away so we're on the half hour mark Still Rangers trail by a goal to nil. And the feeling Rangers have got to get something back before half time because uh, Dortmund have posted notice. They're certainly capable of getting another one. Well, Dortmund now have the luxury of course of sitting back. But here's a chance on Charlie Miller, forces his way through. Sammer, closed down by McCall, it's picked up by Jürgen Kohler. And he's certainly going on, along at uh, a reasonable pace, and the uh, Rangers trying to force that pace, but uh, Dortmund keeping possession, this is Sammer. And that's out for the throw-in to Dortmund. So, Charlie Miller through just a moment or so ago and uh, the ball just running away from him just Cray Fuller Muller sends it on Goff challenges but loses out the offside flag is up though well the two strikers there combining but uh, as Rickon and Henley move forward Flag went up and that's Rangers pushing forward through Charlie Miller. It's Loudrup. Jury goes in a run. This is Jury. It was uh, Andreas Miller who backtracked to concede the throw in. It's good work there by Gordon Jury. He's making that extra man up there on the right hand side and uh, give Brian Loudrup a good option there. It's Goff getting a touch. Loudrup falls to the ground and uh, no free kicks as a referee but uh, Dortmund send the ball out of play so as the Rangers player can receive some treatment so he's taking a head knock it is noticeable though they are very quick to, to close Brian down any time that he does get the ball and uh, once again he wasn't just facing one defender he's, he's facing one one in front of him, one from behind there, so he's really got to have his wits about him. It was uh, the goal scorer, Herlich, uh, who collided with him there, and uh, the Dortmund player's uh, hand certainly caught him in the, the head, but uh, certainly didn't look intentional. And the Rangers uh, subs are warming up, but uh, Loudrup is back on his feet, and the uh, Rangers uh, return the ball to Dortmund. Cesar to Jürgen Kohler. Reuter. Headed away by Petric. He's the cut out goal by Samar. Samar's had a fine first half. Putting himself about the field. Breaking forward. With every opportunity. Just when we uh, saw Samar in the past, Trevor, he was all, always in a positive midfield role yeah, and he's pushing out more and more and I've not seen too much of him playing from a sweep opposition and you can hardly say he's doing that actually tonight he uh, seems to have a free role anywhere around the back four there that's uh, Cesar clearing it it's Samar it's his front Petric climbs but uh, the free kick is awarded against him 
challenge there on Henley.
get it away again. And Charlie Miller digs in well against Miller. Dortmund have it now. Kelly plays it off. And it's played all the way through to Kloss. Well, the Rangers fans are doing their best here to lift the side. And it's uh, Kohler who topples to the ground as he's challenged by McCall and uh, the referee awards the free kick. Well, just under five minutes left of the first half here at Ibrook Stadium. It's Rangers nil, Borussia Dortmund one. Here come Rangers all through Gascoigne. He does well this time, gets away from Samos, still it's Gascoigne. And the offside flag has gone up on the far side. Good play from Gasco now. I mean, that's vintage Gasco, if you like. He um, gets the ball on his feet, goes past the defender, and uses his strength, and uh, that was typical of it. He was a bit uh, closed down there for space, and I think Ryan had wandered into the offside position, and uh, his options were limited there. But, you know, more of that, please, and uh, I'm, I'm Gasco's going to create something. Certainly a more spirited performance by Rangers tonight when you look at the recent uh, European performances. But they're trailing by a goal to nil. So Walter Smith on his track side. On his side of just about four minutes uh, to get something back before the interval. This is Miller. That goal by Frank. And up. Summer. Lots of three steps around on the left. Still at Summer though. Bring it through. Looking for Herlich, the goal scorer. He gets in a dangerous ball. He's looking on the end of it. Now it's Andreas Muller who can whack them. And eventually it was uh, Martin Cray who sent in the shot. We'll have to be very careful about uh, Muller who hit a devastating shot with either foot and uh, he was very unlucky against Juventus, he did score one goal which was a deflection and they uh, rattled another one off the post well, You've got to be worried when Muller gets the ball outside the box because he's the sort of guy who's used to scoring from that distance and uh, he's always going to be uh, he's always going to cause a problem for teams This is Julio Cesar Fans looking just a bit quiet and a bit glum at the moment. And it's uh, Patrick struggling a bit against Hilly. Here comes Goff. And uh, Zock has taken a sore one there as the Rangers captain challenged them. And the referee awards a free kick as uh, Goff moves away. Men, but, uh, time running away from them in this first half. It's important not to give anything away. You know, two minutes to go now before um, before half time. As long as we don't give anything else away at this stage, then we can go in at half time and regroup and have a rethink and uh, see what we can do to break them down in the second half. Well, on the bench, uh, Rangers have Ian Durant and Ian Ferguson. Murray and John Brown. So Walter Smith doesn't have an awful lot of uh, options open to him because of uh, injury and uh, of course the free partner rule. It's just something that uh, clubs have to live with at present. This is Samar. The ball played through by Reuter. And, uh, Stephen Wright will have to be careful here. Two players closing in on the goalkeeper, but uh, Gorham reacts well. We're inside the final minute of the first half. That's any stoppage time, of course. There have been one or two knocks and scrapes. The Rangers are trailing by a goal to nil. But they have possession again. And they're battling hard against good opponents. This is McCall. Now it's Cleland. McCall. Goff pushes 
forward again. Trying to find McCoy. Too many defenders in there. And they get it clear. This is Cesar. Allen challenges. Belly picks up. Goff goes in there. Rangers have it again. This is Gascoigne. Twisting and turning on the edge of the area, but again surrounded by Dortmund players. Loudrup makes a challenge. This is Richard Goff, still pushing forward. Dortmund stand firm there. It's Muller challenged by McCall. That's a free kick to Dortmund. We're now into stoppage time. You can see that uh, McCall is not happy with that decision. And uh, maybe he's got uh, a bit of a point as well. Yeah, it was a bit unfortunate there, was a few um, uh, dubious tackles going in there previous to that, I think it was just uh, a bit unfortunate to, to be pulled up for that particular one. I think we could be looking at a change of formation, I think, in the second half, possibly going to a back four and putting, uh, pushing Gordon Jury up front, I think. Uh, so we'll have to wait and see. So the half-time whistle sounds, and there's the goal scorer, Herlich, after 18 minutes. But Rangers have given a spirited performance, they're by no means out of it, but they have to get some... Welcome back, Rangers one down to Borussia Dortmund over at Ibrox. Joe, they've got it all to do, haven't they? Yes, they've got all to do, but they showed in the first half that um, they can make opportunities. I mean, Gascoigne has made a, a smashing through ball there for, for Miller. I think the danger is that the Rangers, uh, they don't lose their discipline. Yes. I think if they can keep their discipline, the game's still there to be won. Yeah, and of course Miller, I mean, you, you mentioned him, he could be a key player in the second half, Alex, because he's got such a hunger for this game, hasn't he? He's got a lot of ability, you know, you see him in the, in the papers today, talking about making Archie's tea, but, but this, guy's <laughs> come, this guy's come of age in, in the past season or so, and he definitely doesn't look out of place amongst the superstars of Dortmund and Glasgow Rangers there. I think he showed it there in a little clip there. I mean, he's, he's up uh, against uh, a, a big man there, mm. and he's showing a great determination, the desire to, to win the ball. Unfortunately, the ball didn't drop for him because mm. it, he had made that opportunity. I know it was a good ball, but he had made that opportunity for himself by his determination. And as you say, class defenders. He's up against class defenders tonight. Yeah, they're world class guys there. Um, oh. And I think they've shown that, you know, they've got great discipline themselves, the Germans and the, the foreign players that are in the team. Mm. And uh, it is a hard, I've got, I think we've got to, uh, we've got to add, it's a hard uh, task for Ali McCoy up there because in some cases he's up there on his own, mm -hmm. which is, is maybe not a position he has played too many times. He's always fed off someone like Mark Hately and other players. I think they can take encouragement, Jim, from the fact that they've had chances. In Dortmund, they're a team that do give you chances. Mm -hmm. When they came to Motherwell last season, we were 2 0 down, and no, 1 0 down, but two, two men short with two men sent off, and we still made chances against them. Yeah. They are a team that do give you chances. And I think Rangers can get, get they, in this game. They maybe leave they the back door back open in again, yeah. Alec. There's no doubt about that. I think they can get back into the game. They've been unlucky and they've certainly had the, the bulk of the, the pressure. Dortmund have scored in one of the, the rare breakaways. A quality goal, as we say, from a positive point of view. Mm -hmm. um, not a good one from Rangers' point of view. And they might have scored again in another breakaway. And that's the only thing that Rangers will have to guard against. But they've certainly been in top. I don't think they... Yeah. We can say that it's been a bad performance by Rangers. What is worrying, Joe, is that Loudrop isn't getting much change out of them, is he? No, I think uh, he's playing against uh, players who, who have known him. I, mean, I think he played there for a period of time in his career. And uh, Ryan Loudrop has shown what a quality player he is. Mm -hmm. But to these players, they come up against players of uh, real quality week in, week out, and they know their job. They'll be, uh, they'll be told the strengths and the weaknesses of this lad. Mm -hmm. And so far, Loudrop really hasn't created anything. If, if then it's, it's Miller, and then one or two occasions, Gascoigne has uh, made the openings. But um, uh, we'll, uh, we've got 45 minutes, and yeah. uh, a lot can happen in that time. And as, I, I, say, I just repeat myself, as long as Rangers don't lose their discipline, they're, they're playing well. It's an open game. Uh, the fact is that if they do lose their discipline, it'll be costly. Yes. Rangers can't afford to go another goal down. Are they going to get back into it, Alec? Well, as Joe says, a lot can happen in 45 minutes. I think a lot will have to happen if Rangers are going to you know, make some impression in this Champions League section that they're in. Yeah, because time is running out if they don't do it tonight, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. OK, well, let's go back over now, live to Ibrooks. A vital 45 minutes coming up for Rangers. Let's rejoin match commentator Jerry McNee. Uh, welcome back to Ibrooks, and uh, Ian Ferguson uh, has come on to the field. Rangers team just emerging from the tunnel and uh, Brian Loudrup it is who's uh, gone off well he took some knocks in the first half so 
with other Rangers substitutes uh, emerging. So Walter Smith will be hoping that uh, Ian Ferguson can add, can add some steel to his side in the second half. That's obviously a blow to, to lose Brian, but I think it may be um, possibly something to do with uh, the head knock that he received. Let's go to Jim Dillahunt. Archie Knox obviously very disappointed to be in the wrong end of a 1-0 at half-time. Ah, it's disappointing because I think we all played well in the game. We've taken the game to Dortmund and uh, unfortunately lose a goal. Got caught with a, a quick free kick, but uh, we're playing well enough that we can get ourselves back in the game. Unfortunately, we've lost Brian Loudrup at half-time so, uh, with an ankle injury, but uh, Ian Ferguson on for him. Ian Ferguson on for Loudrup. Best of luck in the second half. Thanks, Rob. So it's Dortmund uh, preparing to kick off as uh, Ian Ferguson gets ready to make his contribution. Another player who's uh, had injury problems to overcome. But uh, if you're looking for a battler on your side, uh, he certainly comes into that category. So it should be an interesting second half. No doubt about that. Uh, Rangers have lost the last uh, four clashes, in fact, uh, two German sides. 6-2 to Cologne in 82. And away goal to München Gladbach in 86. 3-1 to Cologne in 88. And 3-1 to Bayern Munich in 89. And the last team to beat was Dortmund. And... Uh, Right away, it's uh, Sama uh, who's on the ground. Back to his feet. I think positionally, uh, Ian Ferguson has literally just gone and, and played in Brian Lauder's position up front, and uh, there's no other sort of positional change other than that. So uh, I think it's going to be much the same as the first half. Now Ian has played up there several times before, so it's, it's not uh, strange territory for him, so he should be able to fit into it okay. Well, Dortmund are in the driving seat, but uh, I think they're in for a bit of a physical test in this second half. And there are a few big players themselves out there. This is Gordon Petric. Rangers have really got to go for this. as he tried to uh, return that ball to Charlie Miller. This is great. Back to Cesar. Miller. That's the goal scorer. Bring it off early. Summer. Summer has been playing the sweeper role of late, but uh, not tonight. Pushing forward. Time. And there's Andy Gorham pulling out a good save from Reuter. Now it's Gascoigne for Rangers. Across to Jury. Ian Ferguson runs ahead of him. So it's Jury. Gascoigne. Miller. Now it's cut out by Jürgen Kohler. Nice little touch by him. Comfortably out of defence, but that's given away by Sama to White. And he plays it through to Gascoigne. Good play by Gascoigne. Still it's Gascoigne trying to find an opening here. Across now for Stephen Wright. That was excellent play by Gascoigne. He was surrounded by Dortmund players. This is Ferguson through looking for Jury. Trying to win the corner kick off uh, Julius Cesar, and that's uh, Cesar who gets the ball away. But uh, the referee is awarding a free kick to Dortmund. And you can see Ian Ferguson going in here, and uh, he caught the Dortmund defender who's now off for some treatment. It's going to be a physical battle in this second half. Goff's head up, and the offside flag has gone up. Uh, Ali McCoy had uh, just stepped forward, and the flag went up immediately. Has a bit more support in the second half. 
Someone was asking another, an awful lot of them. Playing up there very much on his own, which he had to do. Out of Bucharest. Let's play to Charlie Miller. Fury, Miller again. Ferguson. Goffs forward, but uh, let's have him slip away from him. This is what Rangers will have to watch. Andreas Miller's uh, through ball ran away from Lars Ricken and it's golf now in possession. Gascoigne. We're doing okay so far in the second half. We're obviously trying to uh, step up the pace a bit and uh, we're, we're being quite sharp on the ball. Things are looking fairly bright at the moment so uh, if we can keep this up, you know, we just need to create a chance perhaps through Gascon like he did uh, five minutes ago there when he made a, a tremendous run through the heart of their defence. Zot playing it through to Sama, but it's cut out by McCall, and he's clearly held there. But the chances aren't for McCoy to topples, but uh, the offside flag had to get up against the striker. Well, the referee, in fairness, uh, allowed advantage, but uh, McCoy then went into an offside position. It could easily have been uh, a free kick because... Uh, Stefan Fran was holding the Rangers players jersey just before that, but uh, McCoy then ran into an offside position. So we could do a lot better 
since uh, since half time, which is without doubt the best period of the game for us. So Bodo Schmidt has come on, and it's Gascoigne with the free kick. And that was Goff coming in on the far side, and Rangers have the corner. So Herlich back doing some defending there, and uh, Richard Goff putting pressure on the Dortmund defence. So Rangers have the corner kick. Well then Petric is lurking just in the edge of the area. It's Gascoigne who delivers it. Again, Dortmund get it away. This is Cleland. Stephen Wright tries to pick out Ferguson, but it's Dortmund on the break now. And it could be an effective one. It's Ricken. Herlich's in the middle. Goes beyond them. Andreas Muller comes in at the far side, but Stuart McCall's there to mop up. Plays it out to Gascoigne with 55 minutes played. Still Rangers trail by a goal to nil, but uh, they're playing with a lot of pride and passion here. It's Miller playing it through to McCoy. This is Ian Ferguson, the goalkeeper comes rushing from his line and smothers that one. Well, the crowd are enjoying this now. Rangers still have it all to do. And of course it's an important night also for Dortmund, who lost their opening game at home. So Muller playing it to his goalkeeper. This is Herlich with Goff. Sama returns it. It's Petric. Cross to Stephen Wright. Gaston. Jury is wide right. This is McCall. Stephen Wright. Jury still out there on the right touch line. There he is now. McCall. Goff to Petric. Call again, getting through a power of work. Charlie Miller calls for it just ahead of him. McCall wants too much time in the ball. He's dispossessed by Herlich. Yeah, here comes Petric. So Sam are getting away. Here he is again. Nice little touch by him. This is Herlich. There from point. The tempo of the game has really gone up 10%, I think, and, uh, and, and that's mainly due to us. We're, uh, we're getting a lot uh, more possession on the ball. And it's, it's all positive stuff, and it's, it's quite encouraging. So it's Chuck McCall, who's been missing because of injury, getting through a lot of work. Jury to right. Switch of play to Petric. McCall's there. So is Cleland. Play to McCall. Through now for McCoyst. Nice little touch for McCall. Good play by Rangers. And they have the corner. That was excellent play by Stuart McCall and Ellie McCoyst. And Goff and Petric now move forward. Uh, McCall giving his all there. From the coist. So the ball drifts away. Lovely stuff here from Ali. He made a good position to get to receive the ball in the first place. Nice and bright. Back heel that enters Stuart McCall's path. 
Bastien might have actually crossed the ball there to Ian Ferguson running on the front post, but uh, he chose to shoot, which you can obviously do from that position. And uh, the keeper made a good save. As I said before, it's, it's, it's a lot more positive uh, this half than the, than the first half, and uh, we just need that little bit of a break in front of goal. And if we get one, I'm sure we can get another, so uh, we just need to keep battling away. Well, there's no doubt Stefan Claus has been the busier keeper, and he's been forced into a couple of saves, one from Jury and one from McCall in the second half. But still, Borussia Dortmund lead by one goal to nil. Herlich the scorer, 18 minutes into the game. This is Jury for Rangers. They're up by Miller, this is Goff. So they've got to keep the ball on the deck, Rangers. Putting themselves under unnecessary pressure. But still they have possession, it's Gascoigne. Goff. Jury's wide. Goff's kept a run going. And Ali McCoyce was in there like a shot, hoping for something to break off the goalkeeper. But uh, Richard Goff, like Stuart McCall, putting everything into this match. It's a nice ball in there from Gordon Jury, and uh, you can see Richard steaming onto that one. Didn't quite get full contact with his head, but uh, again, that's that's good play, and it's, uh, we are creating opportunities, and we just need to say one of those two to end up in the back of the net, and this game's wide open again. Here's that man Herlich with an hour of the game gone. But, uh, Petric sticks well to the task. The ball goes out though for the throw to Borussia Dortmund. Well, Gordon Petric has made some uh, timely interceptions tonight and uh, he's got a difficult opponent there in Heiko Herlich. Ferguson, Miller runs just ahead of him, good play that by Ian Ferguson, running by Charlie Miller, and the ball runs just behind Ali McCoist, and it's out for the throw to Rangers, but uh, Charlie Miller did well there, and uh, Ian Ferguson spotted the run, sent the ball through to him, here come Rangers again, it's Gascoigne, tumbles to the ground and he gets the free kick. Uh, the referee has uh, tried to let this game flow as much as possible tonight. And, uh, just the one yellow card so far for uh, Rickon. So perhaps a chance for Rangers here. Goffs well forward again. And it's there! Rangers have scored! 63 minutes gone and Richard Goff is delighted. There's jubilation among the Rangers fans. And Richard Goff, leading by example, puts Rangers back into this game and back into this championship. Well, that's a tremendous header. Great ball in from Gascoigne. Richard's been determined, timed his jump nicely and guided the ball really into the back of the net. And uh, the game's wide open now. We've created a lot of chances and I think we've just got what we've deserved there. Well, Rangers have their pride back tonight. There's no doubt about that. After some stumbling performances, They've really got the bit between their teeth. They've battled back into this game. It's Rangers 1, Borussia Dortmund 1. But they're still up against deadly opponents, and they'll have to be extremely careful. Well, that's some cool play by Gordon Petric. It's 
exactly what we needed there. I thought we were putting a lot of effort into the game and we really needed something to show for that. And uh, we got just what we needed. And uh, as I say, there's everything to play for. Plenty of time left in the game. And as long as we keep it tight at the back and be aware of uh, the qualities of the German side, then you know we've got everything to go at. Well, there's been a lot of anger, frustration building up in Rangers in recent months. And uh, tonight, the battling hard, and they're giving the supporters something to shout about at last in European terms. This is a team that's brought uh, seven or eight players back from the Italian league. A lot of big names out there, but uh, Rangers giving a fine account of themselves, and here's the captain again. Akai sleeves it, hoping to find Jury. In comes Stephen Wright, and uh, he certainly had a good game tonight after a few quiet performances. Charlie Miller, who's working hard. Now Dortmund uh, showing signs of pressure. This is front. Rangers just have to keep it calm at the back, as this team can break very effectively, and they've got a great habit of scoring late goals, and... Uh, have come back in game after game in recent seasons. They won the championship in the very last game of last season. And they come back from 2-3 uh, down the other night against Eintracht to win 4-3. But it's Rangers pushing forward again. It's Stephen Wright. This is Jury. Good ball from him to Petric. And it's Gascoigne. Clellan starts a run on the left-hand side. Gascoigne trying to find a way through, but uh, just too many Dortmund players around him. And now the brick's on for them, it's Andreas Muller. Ehrlich's in the middle, Rickens arriving. It's Martin Cree. This is Zock. Muller, Sama. Reuter. The Germans are just trying to take the sting out of the thing at, at the moment and uh, the next five minutes are very crucial to both teams, I think. If we can, uh, they just can keep up this tempo, keep it going, um, you know, it, it's all in our favour, but uh, obviously Germany, the Dortmund rather will um, try to slow things down and, and get some composure back into the game, which they have missed for the last ten minutes. Well, they've got themselves a corner kick. Happier faces now among the Ranger supporters as they substitute Bodo Schmidt, former Bayern Munich player who replaced Cesar. That's uh, Miller with the corner, comes off the head of Gascoigne. Goff climbs high for it. It's Ali McCoy to hooks it away. Then McCoy charges forward to try and pressure the defender. Here's Gascoigne. Now to Stephen Wright from Alec Cleland. Through for Charlie Miller. Jury's on the right hand side. Goff's pushing forward again. Gascoigne, McCall, Cleland's wide. McCoy's in the middle. Ferguson goes in the run. This is Goff. The offside flag is up, and uh, the referee spots the linesman's signal. And a free kick to Dortmund. Well, that was a good decision, that. It was, it was a tight one, but obviously Charlie Miller had uh, straight offside, and I couldn't argue with that decision. There's Andreas Muller now. Ehrlich's in the middle again, and it's Goff who makes a challenge. It's another corner to Borussia Dortmund, so they are starting to push out again in this second half. Andreas Muller sending the ball through, and uh, Goff. Great, great challenger from Richard Goff. He, he's really doing, doing the business in both, um, both goals, if you like. He's up and down, and I've been impressed the way that he's getting involved in the play in midfield as well tonight. It's Muller who delivers it. It's another goal, and it's Martin Craig. Well, just getting in there, 
at the near post, not picked up, and with 69 minutes gone, it's Rangers 1, Borussia Dortmund 2. That was, that was criminal, really, to give a goal away so easy as that. Uh, he's got oceans of space there and just picked his spot. So the ball played in, and uh, it was uh, Ian Ferguson who went with him, but uh, couldn't pick up Martin Cray. And that's a bad goal for Rangers to lose, and so quickly, after getting the equaliser. And that's a free kick against Gordon Jury. So the game's swinging the other way now. But this is the kind of team Dortmund are. They made that point just a few minutes ago. And they just keep pushing out, keep pushing out. And in the last uh, three games they've been involved in, they've won 6-3, 3-0 and 4-3. The victims being Stuttgart via Rubingen and Eintracht Frankfurt. At the moment, Rangers are the victims. Here they come again through Charlie Miller. So that's 70 minutes gone. Rangers 1, Borussia Dortmund 2. And the yellow card's coming out. Gordon Jury making the challenge. Two bookings tonight, uh, Ricken of Dortmund and the uh, jury of Rangers. There's Otmar Pitzfeldt, the Dortmund manager. He'll be a happier man now. Didn't see much of him out there in the first half, but uh, just before Rangers equalised, uh, he was looking rather worried. But now his team are in the lead again. And that's a free kick against Ian Ferguson. the German fans to celebrate again. This is Gascoigne for Rangers. Playing it through looking for Ferguson. It's uh, cleared by Schmidt. This is Samar who's had an outstanding match at Zock. Come Rangers through Gascoigne. Charlie Miller's made a bit of space for himself, it's played through to Alec Cleland! Off the post! And away by Flint! Well, it's twice the woodworkers have denied Rangers there, and uh, great work from Gascoigne. Super run there from Alex Cleland, got into a fantastic position. Did everything right, just the wrong side of the post. This is Stephen Wright. Reason support. That's Petric. Lofting it through, looking for McCoyst. And Stuart McCall's happy to accept the corner kick. Which he takes quickly in towards Gascoigne. And it's now for Rangers. It's Ian Ferguson. 73 minutes and Ian Ferguson. Equalises for Rangers. Rangers 2, Borussia Dortmund 2. It really is all happening now. Good work there from uh, Stuart McCall because he, he took that corner kick very, very quickly. Picked out Paul Gascoigne at the front post. Paul turned and got his shot in, but I think it's saved by the goalkeeper's feet here. Well, he got his hand to it, in fact, and uh, he has done tremendously well there to clear both the goalkeeper and the defender. 2-2. Two -two. Well, the crowd on fire here at Ibrook Stadium. That was the perfect response for Rangers there, to get back into it straight away. And uh, now not to give Dortmund that, the breather that they just received with their goal. So uh, it's going to be an interesting last period of the game. Well, Stuart McCall is claiming that uh, Frank took a dive. And uh, Alec McLeish uh, pointed out earlier this week that uh, Dortmund indulged in this type of thing at Fir Park last season and uh, tried to get something out of the referee. McCall was immediately claiming there that uh, he made no contact, but the referee 
immediately awarded the free kick which is taken again players are not picked up here and it was Lars Ricken who got the first touch and uh, Michael Zott was also threatening it's got him now launching the high one forward McCoy's very much in his own again this is Reuter Muller giving it away to Gascoigne but that's out for the throw and the uh, Rangers are going to make another change here Ian Durant who's a real European pedigree about to come on to replace Gordon Jury it's good, good performance then from Gordon Jury there he's playing out of position tonight and now he's done a, a very good job there and creative problems down the right hand side for, uh, for Dortmund so uh, in, in, uh, Ian Durant I think will just uh, take his position a straight swap of course Ian Durant scored that marvellous goal against uh, Marseille in France three years ago in the Champions League this is Gascoigne pushing forward he's challenged though by Matthias Sammer through now for Herley so 75 minutes showing in the clock here at Ibrook Stadium it's Rangers 2 Borussia Dortmund 2 Andreas Muller, Jürgen Kola, out to Stefan Reuter. Spread in by Samar, and uh, Gorham has to come running from his line. And Stefan Flint, come in. And here's the injury now for Rangers. Through to Gascoigne. So we're hitting that one as he tried to pick out Durant again. This is uh, one of the Dortmund scorers, uh, Martin Craig, and the ball back to his keeper. Well, the official attendance here tonight, uh, 33,209, 33,209. Certainly making plenty of noise, but that's uh, one of Rangers' lowest crowds in years. When you imagine they get uh, around 45,000 for uh, Premier Division games, but uh, the ticket prices have been criticised by the supporters. But the ones that are here are enjoying this. It's Stephen Wright providing the cross. It breaks away out to Alec Clellan to hit the post just a few moments ago, but he just overhits that one. Bit optimistic there from Alex Clellan, but uh, at least he's getting up there and supporting supporting the play well. Richard Goff again did well early, um, earlier in the move there, and uh, making it possible for Stephen Wright to get that cross in. So, Otmar Hitzfeld. The German coach just below us, looking a little anxious again, urging on his men. There's a Martin Cray sending the ball through. Petrich climbs for it. This is Ferguson to Miller. Stephen Wright starts a run. Back it goes to Miller. Goffs well forward again. It's played to McCall. Stuart McCall trying the drive, and the goalkeeper takes another good save. It's Durant there pushing forward. That breaks away to Wright. It's Charlie Miller. Goff's calling for it on the far side. It's played to Stephen Wright. Through now for Gascoigne. Nice little turn by him. It goes behind and it's a goal kick. Indicates the referee. And uh, Gascoigne looks out angrily towards the linesman. Stuart picked the ball up in a nice position there. Had the confidence to go for the shot. The goalkeeper wasn't too confident in his own handling ability there. So he uh, decided to punch it away to safety. Uh, Petrich under pressure from uh, Muller and Petrich spots Ian Durant that's good play by the defender through now for McCoyst he's tackled by Jürgen Kuller across comes Martin Cray this is Samar who's dropped a lot deeper in the second half and he almost gives that one away to Charlie Muller but, uh, the goalkeeper responds Paul's head up. 
Gascoigne tries to get forward, breaks away to Durant. It's Gascoigne again. It's been a bit over elaborate there. It uh, breaks away to Lars Ricken. Well, Ricken topples to the ground. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Dortmund want to make another change. And it's uh, Patrick Berger who's coming on. We have the sign from uh, Slavia Prague. And it's uh, Ricken who toppled to the ground there, who's going off, uh, the young player. So Patrick Berger, who cost £750,000 from Slavia Prague. Uh, he's an international player with the Czech Republic. Uh, the rated player. This is Samar, looking for Herlich. Golf goes with him. Dortmund's throw which is quickly taken so there's 10 minutes left here at Ibrook Stadium plus stoppage time and uh, that's a free kick to Dortmund and uh, the referee telling the player to get up Martin Craig Back on his feet, all right. And meanwhile, uh, Matthias Sammer has moved into the area. Yeah. And just don't get it away properly, and they almost let the substitute in. But, uh, here's the Rangers up, uh, Ian Durant, breaking away. Berger chases him all the way. This is Stephen Wright. Across to McCall. Now it's Petrich. Goff. Cross now for Durant. And that's uh, Dortmund's ball. And just under nine minutes left. Two goals apiece here at Ibrox. Early giving Dortmund the lead. Goff equalising in the second half. Then Cray put Dortmund ahead again. Only for Ferguson to equalise Ian Ferguson. Uh, Reuter playing it through now it's Zock so Durant having to do some defending against Frank that was good back tracking there by Ian Durant uh, Zock made a good run there and uh, he was threatening uh, the Rangers defence Ian got back very well indeed this hot Paul Gascon is actually feeling the pace a little bit now he's uh, Change position with Ian Ferguson. Ian's moved back, moved back into midfield, and, and Paul's now taking a position up front. This is Andreas Muller going on a very determined run here, and it's Petrich who blocks him. Petrich does well again. He's had an excellent second half. Yeah, he's done very well. He's tidied up a lot of difficult situations uh, for Rangers, and uh, uh, he's been very comfortable on the ball too. Here come Dortmund again. Berger. And a wicked shot there from the Dortmund substitute. And then they got him, kept a close eye on it. The ball dipping just in front of him. Now it's Goff pushing out for Rangers. Leaving it to Durant. Goff keeps a run going. The ball's given away. Frank playing it through. This is Zock. Samar starting to break out again. Uh, Patrick who looks in just ahead of uh, Herlich. Now it's Durant. Just under seven minutes left as uh, Gascoigne picks up the play. Now it's Ferguson. Stephen Wright gets a bit of space here. Plays it off for Goff. It's Wright again. Charlie Miller calls for it. It's played into Durant though. Forward for Stephen Wright. He's got a lot to do here. But, uh, the ball had gone out of play. And the whistle goes. Dortmund uh, want to make another change. But, uh, you see Stephen Wright going forward, but uh, it was always asking a lot of him. So that change will be made now. 
and it's uh, Rene Trechok who's coming on to replace Andreas Muller. Well, the fact that Muller's going off uh, won't displease Rangers because he's always liable to snatch something from the edge of the box. But, uh, Trechok is more of an attacking midfielder. He may just sit in a little bit tight. Selkov's head up. So just about six minutes left. Two goals apiece here at Ibrook Stadium in this UEFA Champions League match. Stephen White's head up. Just neither side can afford the mistake now because uh, both went into this match without a single point between them. Dortmund having lost to Juventus in Germany on the opening night and Rangers having lost in Bucharest. There are five minutes left. Rangers two, Borussia Dortmund two. Rangers in possession. It's played wide to Stephen Wright. Some tired legs out there now. It's been uh, a great effort by Rangers to get back into this game, and then obviously they give the goal away again to go 2 1 down. And it took more effort to get back into the game on the second time. So the last five minutes are going to be a struggle. But I still believe there might just be a goal left in this game, hopefully for the home team. This is McCall. McCoy starts a run. It's played wide to Alec Clement. And tries to get away from right up, who matches him all the way. Concedes the throw in. That was played through towards McCall, but uh, asking quite a bit of him. And have four minutes left. And it's a free kick against Ian Ferguson. Ferguson going in, making the challenge, but uh, quite frankly, uh, Stefan Freund making a bit of a meal of that. This is Samar launching a high one. And Durant goes for it, but loses out. This is Petric. Turn around it would be if Rangers could snatch this one. It's been a long battle, a real slog for them all night. Twice coming back into this match. With just under three minutes left. This is Trichok, the substitute. It's a good ball stab through, but uh, McCall comes across to provide the cover. And that's Durant, McCoist. And uh, Rangers have the free kick. What a fairy tale it would be if it was uh, Ali McCoy to wrap it up tonight. Looking for his first Champions League goal and a European record to boot. But that one from Goff just finding its way through to Gascoigne. This is Ferguson. And it's Cleland again. But no real problem for the goalkeeper on that occasion. He was unlucky earlier when his shot struck the post. Ian Ferguson and the offside flag is up well as McCoyst moved there the defenders just stepped out and the flag went up against him immediately so a couple of minutes left according to the stadium clock and so we seem to be uh, heading for a 2-2 draw at the moment um, a result which probably is not uh, the end of the world for, for both sides you know there's a lot of points to play for yet in the league you say there's 12 points after this to play for and uh, it's nice really um, to say that we're going to get a point at least on the board I mean if we'd have been beaten tonight you know confidence would have really been down well the referee is awarding the 
decision Dortmund's way I can't emphasise enough uh, this team have an awful habit of scoring last minute goals injury time goals Dortmund there's exactly a minute left this is Gascoigne for Rangers but he picks against him he'll have to be careful he has a booking against his name already from the match in Bucharest and another one would put him out of the match in Turin against Juventus Rafferty has shown a fair bit of patience so Ferguson challenging it's through now to McCall McCoy starts a run it's played to Gascoigne Cole pushes forward, still it's Gascoigne, he's surrounded by Dortmund players, he does well to get out of that. This is Cleland, Rangers are pushing just about everyone forward, Goff's up there again. He's headed away by his up, it's Gascoigne. Durant challenges for the ball, it breaks away to Sama. Rangers have got to be careful of the break here as we move into stoppage time. This is Sama, that ball's out of play, it's Rangers throw. to stoppage time as Petric plays it across picked up by Ferguson Goffs pushed right to the edge of the area again played out towards McCall though little touch by Durant Cleland Durant again Cleland starts a run to Dortmund defend well and we'll have to watch the break here and the free kick uh, goes against Rangers and Richard Goff is not happy I was disappointed there, we needed the ball in the box, you know, we're, we are into extra time now and uh, Ian tried to thread the ball through there to Alex Cleland, which didn't quite come off, um, the ball really was to get straight into the box because Richard Goff had stayed up, stayed forward and possibly that was going to be our last effort of the game. So that's a minute of stoppage time played, there goes the final whistle, uh, Richard Goff wants to complain towards the referee and he's complaining uh, that he's uh, blown so early still the debate goes on but uh, the referee waves him away so a night of some drama here Dortmund taking the lead after 18 minutes through Herlich got the equaliser then Cray put Dortmund ahead again Ferguson got the equaliser the full time score here at Ibrook Stadium is Rangers 2, Borussia Dortmund 2 Yes, a great fighting performance tonight by Rangers, but a draw in the end 2-2. Join me again after the break for match analysis with Alex McLeish and Joe Jordan. Eleven o'clock and it's time for break. Oh. It's time for Cadbury's Time Out! When you're gasping, asking for a break, and no chocolate, like a taste of Cadbury's Flake. Delicious flake makers, crispy wafer, all covered in Cadbury's milk chocolate. That makes it time out, just take a time out. A Cadbury's Time Out! No matter what you're doing, yeah, yeah, put a flake in your brain. The Cadbury's Time Out! Set it away! Ever brewed in Bremen, Germany. Did you know that walking a mile uses exactly the same energy or calories as running a mile does? What's more, it's the equivalent of swimming 15 lengths of a 25 meter pool or playing eight minutes of this non stop. So, if you want to be fit and healthy, you don't have to. <laughs> You can do this.
In the winter, they fly south. Roger Black, Steve Redgrave, Colin Jackson, to the Australian Institute of Sport. Everything here is dedicated to the development of world-class athletes, even their diet. So together with Kellogg's, they created Sustain, the first cereal designed to help meet athletes' nutritional needs as part of their balanced diet. Light multigrain flakes, juicy sultanas, delicious apple and almonds. High in complex carbohydrates with controlled sugar and salt. Essential vitamins, minerals, and iron. Sustain. Designed for an athlete's body. Good for everybody. New Kellogg's Sustain. Hernandez, that pile of junkies sold me broke down again. Get Is it my problem? It's your car. It's your problem. That car is guaranteed. Oh. Wise guy, huh? Well, wise up and read the small print and weep. Listen, we can do this the hard way or the easy way. Either way, you're not going to get your money back. So are you just going to rip me off? You're not the first, and you sure will be the last. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> that was a commercial break. For Hernandez Motors, and this is Ray, signing off on Reef Radio. Get over here, you car! In the past, when you took a personal computer on the road, it could be difficult to link back to the other computers in your office. With Windows 95, it's easy to stay connected. Start communicating. Start Windows 95. Welcome back. 2-2 two -two at Ibrox. A great match, Alex. Richard Goff pulled Rangers right back into this game in the second half, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He played a, a real captain's part tonight. He was superb in defence. He got himself forward and here he is with his best at set pieces. It seemed as if he's seen it at the very last second here. And I think probably headed it with the back of his head. As you see here, he's flicked it beyond the goalkeeper. It's a great goal and it's got them back in it and at that time, just after that, they were so far ahead of Dortmund at the they time. They were. And they lose a crazy second, second goal. You're right. I mean, Joe, what a time, as happens in football, you know, they get back into it and then they're hit again. Well, I don't think they were ever out of it. I mean, th this goal here is really a stunning blow to them. Uh, great Cree head Cree. Yeah, uh, Cree scores at the near post and I think, you know, for, for Rangers to lose a, a goal at the near post, I, I think they'll be kicking themselves because right at the start of the, sec uh, the second half, uh, they were so positive, so determined. I mean, it was a battling performance, but other than that, I mean, Rangers played some quality football. Both teams played. Uh, I don't think it was the result that uh, either team wanted, mm. but um, I think Rangers will feel themselves a little bit unlucky tonight not to get the three points. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to Rangers, they pushed straight back up the park. Alec Cleland, he had a good game, we, we felt, Alec, tonight. He hit the post. Yeah, he hit the post with, with a great shot, and then... Uh, as we see here, Alex right through and he's wrapped it off the bottom, bottom of the post here. And Good strike. I, I think it was probably a reflection of the whole night for Rangers a wee bit. You know, I think they've hit the woodwork a couple yeah, I think of you, I think you've got to bring a, a, a Paul Gascoigne in there. You know, towards the end of the game, he, he did look a little bit uh, leggy and whatnot. But throughout the game, those decisive passes were important. He has set up his colleagues on one or two occasions. Yeah. And against a quality defence like that, we're packed. I think that uh, shows the class. Still screams and balls at the, the officials, doesn't he? I think he's very lucky. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think uh, he does. I mean, he's still yeah, at it. Yeah, I, I think, think the big surprise for me with, with Paul Gascoigne tonight and the Germans was that they sat off a wee bit and yeah. it allowed Gascoigne to play and thread passes like that through, like the one we've seen there for Alec Cleland. Yeah. And Gascoigne, I thought, had his best game in a Rangers jersey tonight. I tell you what, though, Alec, Ian Ferguson did very well when he came on, didn't he? I mean, again, pulling Rangers back into this match. Yeah, it looked as if he was throwing. And, and up, up in a forward position to start with, he had some good touches, he worked hard and the ball's fallen to him kindly there, goalkeeper out of position and it's a strong enough header to beat the guys in the goal line Yeah, I mean that's Jurgen Kohler in the goal line, he, could, he couldn't get near to it Yeah, they upped a gear in the second half range, there's no doubt about that not that they weren't out of it in the first half, but they definitely upped a gear and, and I thought they, they probably deserved to, to edge it on the night 
Other than the goal that Ferguson scored, I, th I think the way that he came out and gave Rangers that extra lift. You know, people, if you're looked at and said that Loudrop wasn't going to play in the second half, I think they've been a wee bit demoralised. But yeah, Ferguson has come on and he's given the team. A he search. lifted them. Okay, yeah. well, that's about it uh, at this moment. Rangers two, Borussia Dortmund two. Now we'll be back with you at 11 on Scottish with highlights and results from the rest of the UEFA Champions League. Viewers in other areas should check your listings for the timings of their own highlights shows. 2-2 two, two at Ibrox. In the meantime, from myself, Alex and Joe, bye for now. This program was sponsored by Reebok and Amstel, UEFA Champions League sponsors.